We have written the software, downloaded onto the launch pad, and we have built the R2R ladder. Next, we're going to debug it. What we have is one channel of the logic analyzer connected here to the DAC output. And we have a second channel of the logic analyzer connected to the heartbeat. And now let's look at the output of the DAC when we push the button. On this screen over here, we see the oscilloscope. The orange is the DAC output, and the blue is the heartbeat. So I'm going to press the switch, which should cause an interrupt, which it's being interrupted by the cystic, and we're producing a sine wave in response to it. OK, we see that the heartbeat toggles the output every interrupt. And so we can see that each time we get an interrupt, a new value is output to the DAC. The numbers that we're outputting were a 1, 1, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 7, 6, 5, 4, 2, um, 1, 1, 1 again. And this pattern repeats over and over. So how do we verify whether the time between interrupts is correct to 100 hertz, John? Ah, that's fairly easy, because all I need to do is measure the time here to the time here to see that my system takes approximately 10 milliseconds to generate one waveform. So that's something I can do with my oscilloscope. So what does it sound like? Ah, plug it in. Let's see. So let's plug it in. So we'll plug in a speaker to our DAC. And I'm going to play the sound. Ooh. And it sounds like a 100 hertz. 100 hertz. So if you play around with this, we could get something more fun. That's what lab is for. All right. Your turn. <laughs> 